All right, hello and welcome. It's been ages since me and Indy been out together in the canoe on a solo trip. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to this one. We're on the Inverpolly estate today. Not where I went to last time, if you've seen that video. I'm a little bit further north on a different set of locks. We're going to set up camp on here and then hopefully tomorrow morning uh, we'll be up nice and early and we're going to portage onto Loch, Loch uh, Verity and then we're going to paddle up Loch Verity. There's a river there, we can go up there and then hopefully onto Loch Fion. So um, the weather's not forecast to be the best. <laughs> so hopefully it's possible, but we'll have to wait and see. And uh, yeah, stick around. It's absolutely beautiful here. So just spied a little spot here on the edge. Um, I'm gonna check it out, see if it's a potential campsite. Um, there's a really nice beach right at the bottom of this uh, lock, but it's gonna be right in the full force of the wind. Um, so it may not be the best option for us today. This one's well sheltered, so we'll check this out and uh, it's always something to come back to. Yeah, definitely get a tent here. It's nice out the wind. I mean, the views are pretty decent. Right, so we've just set up our tent here on a little, tiny little campsite and um, we haven't gone too far down on it. It was quite windy when we first got on here um, so I was slightly concerned about getting back up it again. Um, tomorrow morning we're going to try to get away from here fairly early and then we can do the portage onto Loch Hovey and head down that way. Um, yes, yeah, so we came around here, it was quite sheltered um, and out of the wind but now the wind has dropped completely, Mitties have started to come out so I'm quite keen to get uh, Got a little firebox with me, get that going, generate a little bit of smoke and uh, hopefully it will deter them a little bit.
Sorry, I don't want to sort you out. I'm not going to get any peace, am I? Don't look at that. Hey, sit. Sit. Good boy. Okay, take it. Good boy. Pretty good. Alright, so we're both eating. Very nice it was too. Uh, the fire did a really good job of uh, generating a bit of smoke to keep the midget bay, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to open a beer now. I'm just going to uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. Hopefully, catch a bit of a sunset, you never know. And uh, enjoy looking out at the views. It's really nice with all the clouds keep changing shape over the mountain tops. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get an early night and see what tomorrow holds. Indy, side. Indy, use the door. Indy, the door. Come back. Indy, there's a door here, look. Right, so yesterday we paddled down here, this is the River Ledmore and we come into Camlock and we paddled across here and we nestled along here and then today we're going to paddle around here and then we're going to have to portage down this little um, stretch here because it's quite steep and then the plan was or is to paddle up uh, Loch Verity we're going to go all the way up here and eventually there's another little small stretch of river here and into Fion Loch. Um, we'll have to see how the wind goes because the last thing I want, the wind's coming from this direction the whole weekend um, and it's meant to pick up tomorrow so I don't want to get up here and then not be able to get back down the lock so we'll go up as far as we can for a reasonable amount of time and then if we do we may need to settle somewhere down here perhaps I'm thinking um, and then that will give us at least we haven't got to go miles and miles in the morning if we do have quite a strong headwind
Right, coffee's done, breakfast's done, the sun's come out a little bit, or drying too, so that's nice. Um, we've left no trace as always, and uh, it's time to get on the open water. The wind has picked up a little bit in here, so I imagine it's probably got a little bit worse out there, so we'll go out now and uh, see what's got in store for us. bit breezier out in the lock. <laughs> We've just come round uh, the corner a little bit and now we're in the lee of these uh, few islands. So it's calmed down a little bit and then uh, there's a little portage coming up. Should be about 400 meters in front of us now. So this one here is not too bad, but it could be a bit scrapey. Right, so it's not the worst looking portage. Um, I think I'd do it in a few trips though. It's not very far. Um, it's a little bit steep in places, so uh, yeah, I'd rather carry less in more walks, I think, than try to overdo it. We're going down that bit. <laughs> I say, portage cam is my least favourite of all the cams. <laughs> Pretty much there now. Um, I've got a bit of sweat on there. Not helping that I'm wearing waterproof trousers, I guess. So I'm glad that's done with. Uh, I've definitely earned myself a Snickers, I think. Oh. There was a little dipper just now on here. But he disappeared before I could get the camera out. Um, lovely little birds, I love seeing them. We made it. <laughs> Look, Verity. It's 
So wow, what a beautiful lock this is. The clouds on top of the hills looking majestic. And then we've got this other big hill, which uh, I don't pronounce on my left, <laughs> which is where, I don't know if you saw my last video, I was camped just on the other side of there. Um, yeah, wow, this is beautiful. So I'm, in, I'm in a bit of a dilemma, I don't know what to do. I'm making really good progress because I've got a really quite a strong tailwind. Um, I could be down to Fion Lock, or probably even down the bottom of Fion Lock pretty quickly, you know. It's, uh, I think it's about 11 o'clock now, I could be down there definitely to camp tonight, but then I've got to make my way back tomorrow, it's a good few miles um, to cover. And if this wind's any worse than this, um, it would be hard work, you know. I mean, it could even get to the point, it doesn't matter if you've got all day. If it picks up too much, um, you're not going to go anywhere, you know. It's supposed to pick up around about four o'clock. It's supposed to start to get a bit more windy and a bit more uh, the rain's supposed to come then as well. So, don't know what to do. Right, so sadly I've made the decision. Uh, we're not going to get onto Fion Lock today. Um, it's just too windy now, and it's only set to get worse, you know, as the day progresses and tomorrow as well. Um, it's quite choppy already. We're starting to get crests in some of the waves, um, so I'm probably going to try and aim to be roughly where I am now uh, for tomorrow morning. Hopefully, it's not too bad. It won't take me more than a couple of hours to get back to the portage. Um, yeah, but we'll head. We'll keep on heading down for a little bit and enjoy a bit of paddle and the views. And then we'll probably turn around and base ourselves around here somewhere. Lovely little waterfall just up there. Right, so I think this will be our limit. As you can probably tell, it's quite windy um, and I've already got a paddle back up in this. Um, I couldn't do it if it was any worse. It's going to take me ages just to get back uh, to that portage route. I mean, that's taken us no time at all to get down here, <laughs> but it's not going to be the same on the way back. But you know, it's a beautiful little spot. We can have a little leg stretch, check out the mountains, uh, and then we'll start the arduous paddle back, I think. It's better to be safe, definitely. shoreline a little bit it's a little less bumpy um, and he doesn't really appreciate the bumps a whole lot although he's being pretty good to be fair better than I was expecting so that's good his flapometers are at about four right now and I reckon I can only really make any sort of movement up to about five <laughs> keep trying to turn me all right so it wasn't too bad but I wouldn't want it to be much worse uh, we did make progress um, but we've just come back to this sheltered bay and we're going to stop here, probably have a cup of tea and then uh, we might even call this the, here the night, it's quite early but um, plenty of time in camp is never a bad thing and it's got beautiful views as well. Yeah, pretty nice location. You wouldn't even know it was windy here. <laughs> I definitely feel the wind when you come around here though.
Right, so it's lunchtime anyway, so um, let's get the kettle on. If in doubt, make a brew. Poor old boy, look he's knackered. I know what'll cheer you up, Indy. Sardines. Take it. Good boy. In a little bit of peckish, I just thought I'd knock up some noodles. Right, so we're all set up. I've just put a little tarp above us because it's going to rain in a couple of hours. Um, it will pull in the middle, but I might well go get a branch. Um, there's a dead tree just up there, just to prop it up um, in a little bit. Uh, Indy seems to make himself at home pretty well so yeah it's like half past two now so I'm not used to stopping this early to be honest with you on these videos I'm usually <laughs> rushing about everywhere trying to make the next little bit but unfortunately it wasn't to be on this one but uh, yeah it gives me some nice time to chill out in camp and uh, yeah just watch the world go by really lovely little orchid Bit it. Definitely getting wind here. So this is where we camped last night. And then we came round here, portage this bit, and then with the wind behind us, we went all the way down here super quick, made it down to this point. I was hoping to make it kind of off the page, <laughs> but getting back would have been a nightmare. So then we paddled back and we're now just on this little headland here. And then tomorrow morning, uh, hopefully it's settled down a little bit, we're going to paddle up here, back to the portage, back through Camlock, and back to the river. So I carved this uh, spatula quite a while ago now, a piece of uh, London Plain, I think it was. And I uh, started adding a bit of detail to it, because I thought it was letting the side down a little bit compared to my other spoons. Uh, yesterday, I don't know if you spotted it when I was cooking, I uh, left it a bit too close to the fire. Um, it, I had just put a little hook in the end of it to hang it up, and now it's gone. <laughs> but yeah, I put a little spiral in it, and it's going to branch down into something or other. I haven't really decided yet, I just want to make up as I go along really. There we are, look, the hook has been re-established a little bit further down. It's just got a weird little knobbly bit at the top now. So looking at the weather tomorrow, there's a little bit of a low in the wind between the hours of 4am and 7am. So I think I'm going to get on the water quite early tomorrow. I'll probably forget breakfast, uh, get out on the water and try to get up the lock as much as I can uh, before the weather starts to pick up again. Right, so tonight I'm going to have one of these dried mills. This one's a uh, real termat. It's cod and curry sauce. Um, I'm going to get the fire going, but I'm just going to keep it really, really small. Um, just because obviously it's going to be under the tarp a little bit.
I mean, hopefully it tastes better than it looks. <laughs> oh, I could hear some snuffling going on. Hello. Are you getting hungry? Hmm. Tastes pretty good, to be fair. It is a little bit salty. I uh, couldn't wait the eight minutes that it said on the packet, but it was nice. The cod's quite firm as well, um, which I quite like. And uh, it stopped raining as well, so that's good. Right, only one thing left to do really. I think this one pretty much uh, <laughs> sums up my day. Cheers everyone. Beautiful. Rain can't make the find up, it's on and off, on and off. Right, signing off, night guys. Um, set the lamp half four in the morning, so I will see you then. Good morning, uh, it's five o'clock in the morning, so we got out of camp really early uh, to avoid the wind because it's going to pick up a little bit later. But at the moment, it's really, really flat out here, it's really peaceful actually. Uh, it's a really beautiful morning despite the rain, um, it is quite nice, quite pleasant. And um, yeah, there was loads and loads of midgen camp, so we didn't want to hang around filming it this morning either. Um, so yeah, well, it's not going to take us too long, I don't think, to get back up to the portage with the water like this and the wind conditions. So um, yeah, I'll crack on and I'll speak to you when we get back to the portage. Right, so we're not too far away from our portage now, so I'm gonna say goodbye. Um, if you do enjoy my videos, please do hit the subscribe button. Um, it's a bit of a shame we didn't make it down to Fee Unlock on this occasion, but uh, it gives me a good excuse to come back. So um, I'll see you on the next adventure.